What's up guys, it's Trickster Autocity here bringing you one more time, once again, it's another Nocturne Rebirth. What the hell? What the hell have I been doing? Why am I not making videos? Well, sorry for the long hiatus, but, well, basically I had, like, um, tons of shit to do and, well, I just didn't kinda had enough time. But now, now that I have enough time, uh, let's see if we can get to the end, shall we? Uh, because last time, I think, we just got, uh, we just fought a Maxwell, which was this guy, but in the gameplay was apparently a zombie, and I almost got fucked. So, I decided to grind again until I got Riviel to level, fi uh, level 15 and my familiars to level 9 to 11, so, yeah. Let's go to Chaos Residence, shall we? You wait outside. Uh, God damn it! You wait outside. Ah, uh, I see. It's been a while since you met your old friend, right? In that case, I'll just go around here. There doesn't appear to be any monsters here in any case. You can find the Amnil herb among others in the area surrounding the pond to the left of this residence. My old friend grows them. Pick it if you like. Your old friend grows them? Wow, he must be an amazing person. He's probably grown up for a tad too long, though. Welcome, Reviel. It's been a while, Chaos. Indeed it has. You haven't changed at all. Please, sit down. I have plenty of tea made from fine tea leaves. No shit, redundant is redundant. Such psychic powers of tea placing. Well, you haven't changed either, Chaos. What's the point of reading all those grimoires written by humans? Their knowledge doesn't surpass yours at any rate. Well, it's just to kill time, much like what you and your female friend are doing. Besides, the grimoires contain interesting information, including original ideas that I never thought of before. Hmm, so that's how it is, huh? So, what's your reason for specifically inviting me here? Oh, it's just that something puzzles me. When you- when did you last meet our female friend? Why do you ask? Just recently, she visited me. She said she said uh, she said she sensed something unusual about me and asked me what was wrong. How pointless! You're actually puzzled by that. There was a Maxwell summoned by her outside the entrance to this residence. In other words, she went as far as to throw away her dignity by trying to extort skills from you. That's something you've already foreseen at any rate, right? Indeed, I have, but... Truth be told, I would like to remain on good terms with the both of you. After all, the three of us are the only ones of our kind. Well, no matter. Let's not talk about this any further. On another note, I'm surprised. About what? I'm surprised that you brought a human along. No, I'm even more surprised that you've been hanging around with humans instead of just hunting them. The old you was feared by many humans as the Satan. Are you fucking kidding me? But now, you're nothing like that. <laughs> so it's about that, huh? Well, didn't you say just now about killing time? I'm doing just that. I'll hunt when I feel like it. It's no big deal. At any rate, it's just a matter of doing it sooner or later. Putting aside that pointless stuff, I'm concerned about your familiar. My familiar? Oh, you mean Shilfeel. Shilfeel. There we go. It's just for you to create your own familiar. And not only that, but I get the feeling that you've created your familiar in an unusually elaborate way. Well, about that. <laughs> I suppose a lot of things have happened here over the past several years. This isn't like you. What do you mean? The old you would have shown disinterest towards everything, more so than me. No. That aspect of me hasn't changed at all. I'm expecting a lot from you, Toad. I'm expecting more from you than from our female friend. 
You can probably entertain me more than she can. You flatter me, Revia. I'm I'm merely proficient in using a few magic skills. I can comp possibly compare to you who has all the power in the world. <laughs> I would have shown much interest in you if that's truly the case. It's about time I head back. Is that so? I was hoping you could stay a little longer. Mm. Well, you'll be here anyway. I'll come again when I feel like it. I suppose you're right. We have, after all, endless time to spare. See you again then, Chaos. I hope you'll, some you'll have something interesting for me the next time we meet. Certainly. Take care, Ariel. Mr. Ariel, sure thing this time. Hmm. I wonder what kind of person Ariel's gonna find Chaos is. Huh, I think we need to be from here. Um, Madame Luna. He shaped you? Didn't I tell you so call me madam? I'm afraid I cannot do that. You are an important guest of my master. Isn't chaos as guest Mr. Regal instead? I'm not as chaos, so you can just drop the madam. Maybe she should be after all. Yeah! Mr. Regal, are you done here? Yeah, let's head back to the village. Oh, yes. Well, Shufield, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Goodbye. Please come again. My master tells you to come again as well. Oh, yes. Please, come back with Chaos. I can rest assured of that. My master is able to hear what I hear. I see. We'll be off then. Heading back to the village of Algis. Huh? What's wrong, Mr. Rubio? You wish to save that girl quickly, right? You go on ahead. Eh, but... Just go. This is strange. My body and my mana still feel too weak even after I've been for some time. Moreover, this force is built with a strange presence. Is it her? No, that's not all. That's not all. There's possibly a seal. And even so, who could have cast it? Who could have cast an ingenious barrier around the whole forest that even I don't recognize? I suppose there's a need to investigate this in detail tomorrow. For now, I'm heading back to the house. That's the rest for today. Uh, okay, it's gonna be the same thing anyway. I don't even care anymore. So let's just head back to the house because, well, we don't want to interfere. So fuck off. Afraid that vampires may appear. Mr. Ramiel, why are you. I can be whenever I want, can I? Well, I can't disagree with that. Um, uh. C can I join you up there? Do whatever you want. At any rate, this is your home, no? Oh shit! We almost got fucked! Oh, Minnie is apparently fine now. Her 
your fever appears to have gone down considerably. In fact, it's as if her suffering was all a lie. Oh, I truly have to thank you for all that you've done. I can't imagine my own happy without you. <sighs> like you, I still have a long way to go. You see, my dream is to become a traveling doctor. Yeah, well, you're not very fucking good at it. You fail to fucking, like, give me regeneratives most of the time. Fucking piece of shit. When I was very young, I was vulnerable to diseases. I had a frail body and a weak immune system. As a result, I contracted different kinds of illnesses and had to consult a respectable doctor for treatment. Well, as you know, this is just a small village, so it hasn't had any local doctors since back then. I can't tell you how grateful I was on occasions with a respectable traveling doctor who I became fond of came. I want to be like a traveling doctor one day. That was what I thought. And so I studied hard and even learned an art of self-defense so that I could travel abroad safely. But after today, I realized that I'm not good at anything. Oh god. Ah, damn. Feels. Sorry. Be it medical or fighting skills, I have no talents. Oh, well, I wonder about that. I don't know what you're thinking, but just do whatever you want. After all... So it's come. Huh? When a curse inflicted on a person is removed without the consent of the ringleader behind the curse, there's a possibility that he'll head to where the person is to find out why. You've thought about that, haven't you? Uh, you mean the vampire is here? Man, that's something. Man, that's a music though. Five Dark Disciples. <laughs> As if I can't handle all of them. You can even use your core mind control skill for all I care, vampire. After all, you're but an opponent who's more worthless than I would imagine. Wait, I serve you! Oh, go as well. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you got fucked rather easily. Small fries. Vampire, do you seriously think these good for nothings are a match for me? You really are a worthless vampire. No, these are... Damn small fry. Wait! He's controlled by Maxwell, right? And in that case, there has to be a way to, to turn back to a person. It's no use. Do you think you can resurrect the dead? Huh? Once a person's blood is sucked by a vampire, the vampire's dark mana enters the person's body, and the person dies. The corpse of a person is of a person with a weak constitution, it won't be able to handle dark mana, and will remain a corpse. Otherwise, the corpse will be reanimated by the dark mana. That's the reality by which you see here. These are dead people, reanimated by dark mana. They're called Dark Disciples. They're entirely different beings from Maxwell. Dark Disciples have no mind of their own. They're, after all, dead. There's no way to turn Dark Disciples back to humans. Simply because they're dead. And it's not quite right to say that they can move on their own. These are nothing more than puppets. So I ask you this again. Do you think it's possible to resurrect the dead? It's not possible. Not even the doctor or Master Healy can do that. Precisely. The dead cannot be resurrected. No one is capable of doing that. Are you just going to keep hiding, vampire? Huh? Come out! I know you're there. Poof! Damn lowly human! Don't think, think of getting cocky because you spotted me! Why? Why did you do such a cruel thing? Eh, 
What a stupid question! Humans are nothing more to pray to me. They're my toys which, which I can play with however I like. You're wrong. Heh, <laughs> I'm not wrong. Humans are no doubt things like these that will eventually have to be cleaned up and discarded. It's annoying how you humans grieve, grieve over the deaths of one or two of your compatriots. Rather, you sure will be thankful for me to doing the dirty work you can these people while getting to keep their precious blood. Hey, you black clove guy. Where do you think you're looking at? You sure got guts to be looking away from me, the almighty Jackson Black. I'm asking you, where the hell are you looking at? You're really noisy. Shut your trap. What did you say? Are you trying to go against me? Don't forget that your life is in my hands. Do you actually understand the situation that you're in? Understand the situation that I'm in? What the hell are you blabbering about, lowly vampire? Why, you? Are you a typical human trying to mock me? A typical human? You were once a human yourself, weren't you? Bullshit! I'm Jackson Bar far superior to any human! I'm a chosen being who gained the power of darkness while still preserving my self-identity! I'm no longer a worthless human who could only grovel underground! You, superior to any human? Don't make me laugh. You, but you're but a human after all. Ah, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I'll show you just what I, a being far superior to any human, I'm made of! Okay, so, first boss battle. I sense the arm of a, of a familiar that's been around for a while now. I can't tell where the familiar is, though. So it's a familiar that specializes in spying, huh? I'll show you, human. I'll show you power, power far beyond any human can have. Typical small fry. I don't leisure to play around with you. Move, pedal, dance! Holy fucking shit, that was Ragnarok. <laughs> that was Ragnarok levels of fuck you. So you got, after all. No worthless. Yeah, impossible. What? Why is a human like you so strong? Damn it! I'll remember this. Someday I'll be sure to tear you limb from limb. Eh? It can't be. The big guy, Jackson Burt, will be taken down. You're not Dio. Eh? You want to die? Revenge to see it. I just, it's got this infinite power. I'm supposed to be eternal. First, I'm to fit the human, nothing noble dark manner, but. No! Nah. Nah. Did I make it in time? No, it looks like I didn't quite make it. Um, who are you? Edith, Edith Midowen. I received reports about a vampire being in this village and came as fast as I could upon request from the Vampire Slayers Guild. Uh, so you're the um, famous vampire slayers from work to make extraordinary skin slaying vampires? I must apologize. Huh? If only I'd come here a little quicker, there would have been lesser casualties. But it looks like the damage has already been done. I truly must apologize. No! Please don't apologize. After all, it's an easy for you to come here quickly in the room of night. Besides, I can tell how thankful everyone in the village would have to be to have a top-notch vampire so you come to a small village. Thank you for your kind words. So you're the master of the familiar from just now, huh? You notice Seeker? Ah, uh, no. I'm sorry. Um, to answer your question, it is as you said. I said a familiar had to keep a track of a vampire. I see. Incidentally, I saw your battle with the vampire earlier. It would appear that you are an incredibly skilled swordsman. You're a vamp- He's a vampire too, you know? You just- you, He's just kinda maybe Dompier or something like that? I don't know. Can I ask what your name is, if you don't mind? Reviel. Reviel, you say? I don't think I've heard that name before. Given your skills, you ought to be well known, but... Forgive me for asking, but what have you been doing up until now? Um... Edith, it's late now. Why did you ask for a night in the end? You're right. In that case, I'll inquire more tomorrow. Before calling it the night, though, I understand that it'll be hard on you to do this as a village here. But can you help carry the bodies? Yes, I will. We can't just leave it like this at any rate. It would be good if you can help too, Revia. We have to at least bring these people away from the public eye. 
っけ<笑> Well, that was a fast battle! And I'm. And it's just saying, dude! That was quick. Ugh. Anyways, I have to go ahead and set up. Good morning, Mr. Ravio. Or should I say, good afternoon. You must have been tired of the day yesterday, wasn't it? My mom is preparing lunch right now. So while she's at it, why don't you head to the village chief's house first? The village chief's house? What for? Well, this morning, after telling the village chief about what you did yesterday, he told me to tell you to meet him directly so that he can express his thanks to you. Mr. Ravia, you become someone of a hero in this village now. You should be proud of yourself. Hero? What kind of joke is that? Well, you, you should do that. It could help you use and get pressed. Anyways, I'm gonna end it right here. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Anyways, if you like some more, if you like some more, subscribe to this channel. Channel. If you would, leave a like or a comment. I would love to hear your opinion on how can I can make this series better. And I'll see you in the next video. But till then, keep on shocking. Boop.